So a few months ago, I made a budget night vision comparison video. Since then, I've gotten my hands on some more NVDs and thought it'd be a great time for another comparison video. As always, the parts will be timestamped so you can skip to whatever interests you. The PVS69 Echo is the third generation of PVS69 and are 3D printed homemade digital night vision goggles that use IR FPV drones. These can be built either as a monocular for $300 or a binocular for $500. Mine only has one tube in it, so it's a monocular. The Echo has a 97 degree field of view and is a non-magnified and non-1x. They use dovetail for mounting, take two CR123A batteries, and get around 6 hours of battery life. They can also take an external battery pack that can be plugged into the bridge. The PVS69 has many different versions for different use cases, and this is not the current housing generation. But both the current generation and my generation uses the Night Eagle 3 sensor and V760A3 display, so performance will be similar for the digital models. The NVG10 is a budget night vision monocular that was very popular last year. These can be bought for around $300. Mine was sent out to me for free by the guys at Goodnight Gear. I have a full review out on it. I'll link that in the description. These take a rechargeable 18650 battery and have a battery life around 3-5 to five hours without IR on. They feature a focusable lens, a true 1x view with about 25.5 degrees field of view, and a 30Hz refresh rate. They have a built-in IR illuminator and mounts using a proprietary mounting system. The NVG30 is the NVG10's new big brother. These can be bought for around $500. This one was sent out to me for free by Goodnight Gear and can be bought off their website. These take a single rechargeable 18650 and have a battery life of around 5 hours with IR off. They also feature a color mode, which is the mode I will be recording with. They feature onboard recording, and they use the same proprietary mounting system as the NVG10. The analog Gen 2 Plus 2 I'm using in this video, I built using a 3D printed housing. For people that aren't aware, analog NV performance is mainly based off the image intensifier tube, not the housing or model of night vision. My monocular has a rebranded Photonis X-T4 auto-gated image intensifier tube. Because my tube has a funny format, finding information on it has been pretty hard, but it should have a FOM of around 1600 minimum, which is pretty in line with most budget Gen 2 Plus analog night vision. It takes a single CR123A and gets around 40 hours of battery life. I should note that I have a C-mount lens on here instead of a PVS14 lens, which bottlenecks the device. The lens still gives a true 1x magnification with 40 degrees field of view, and has a built-in iris to adjust depth of field. All of these stats are pretty much standard for about all analog binoculars. It's hard to put a price on something like this, but if you wanted something that performs similar to this, you need to pay around $1,250-ish for a clean used unit. Good deals and ways to make that cheaper always exist, but I'll make a full unit on this eventually and I will discuss that. Besides all of that, Gen 2 Plus monos are very popular for budget analog right now, so I think this will give a good idea on performance. The last device is the Psionics Opsin. This is on loan to me for Goodnight Gear. They don't sell these devices, they were just kind enough to let me use it for a month. I have a short review on these in the works. These sell for around 2 grand. They use a proprietary rechargeable battery pack and get around 10 to 14 hours of battery. They feature a 44 degrees field of view and a 90 hertz refresh rate display. These ship with a Wilcox dovetail mount, but you can swap it for a bayonet mount from Psionics if wanted. Here's a spreadsheet of information involving each device. Some things to clarify. This performance comparison is purely based off the images these night vision units can create while on their highest frame rate settings. This does not compare input lag. Each of these devices, as previously stated, are set to their highest frame rate. The PVS69 is 50 FPS, the MVG10 is 30 FPS, the MVG30 is 40 FPS, and the Opsin is 90 FPS. I'm not paid by any companies or anyone to make this, and I've not edited or skewed footage in any way. Every shot is taken from the same distance away and with the same camera settings unless specified. When the IR illuminator on the MVG10 says IR on, that actually means the IR illuminator is off. It's very strange. Watch my review on the MVG10 if you're curious about this. The MVG30 does not have this issue. If it says IR off on the MVG30, the IR illuminator is off. I decided not to include IRR on every spot in this video, as I found it kind of pointless in the last video. I will include a scene with IR illuminator and a laser just to show how each device handles IR light, but besides this, this is a raw low light performance of each night vision device. I want to thank Crown Arms LLC for sending me out one of their chest rigs a while back. It helped out a lot while carrying all these NVGs through the woods. I'm not sponsored by them, they're just some cool guys making some cool things. Go check them out.
I want to thank you guys for watching this video, especially if you made it all the way to the end right here. That's awesome. Uh, I would love for people to uh, point out their opinions, their thoughts in the comments. It's always good to get a really good discussion uh, talking about the pros and cons and your own experiences with these devices or other devices and that are relevant. Uh, so please have a discussion in the comments and uh, enlighten us with anything you want to say. Uh, I read every single comment and I try to respond to most. Um, links to everything relevant in this video will be in the description. Uh, and kind of the last thing I do want to plug MWNVG.com again. That's the uh, channel sponsor. While this whole video was pretty much made before they became the sponsor, they're going to help create uh, and bring a lot of really cool stuff on the channel soon that just I would generally not have access to. Um, so go check them out. Uh, they have some really cool options for analog night vision. Um, so if you're searching for analog night vision after watching this video, uh, check out mwnvg.com. They did not provide the analog night vision for this video, but yeah, check them out. Uh, code ES3 will get you 3% off any analog purchase, which uh, in the whole grand scheme of things, that's a good chunk of change. And uh, code ES25 will get you $25 off anything over $300. Uh, those codes don't stack, but once again, uh, yeah, check them out. That's going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of cool things coming um, involving them soon. Once again, I just want to thank all you guys for watching the whole video. Um, I'm so glad that I've been able to have this experience on YouTube and that really has been really cool and that would not be possible without you guys. So thank you so much for that and uh, see you guys in the next video.